As we've been reporting, many people without power still, a lot of them are in northern Westchester and they're not happy with the response from their utility company. As News 12's Robert Wolf tells us tonight, some neighbors say they haven't even seen a single repair truck. In the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy, Pound Ridge looks like a war zone. Take a look at this short stretch of Route 124. Three trees down over less than two blocks. We've shown you trees down all over the county. Here's one right here, but take a look at where it landed, right on top of this Jeep. And miraculously, the driver got out in one piece. And that Jeep has been there since Monday night's storm because of the concern over the downed wires. All but one state road is closed in town, along with many side roads. Pound Ridge police have counted 68 utility poles down. Curtis Wetchy, visiting friends here from Florida, was doing the same thing during last year's freak Halloween snowstorm. Well, this one for the record book, so was last year. And we had the snow before Halloween, and that was a lot, a lot of damage also. As some homeowners pick up dry ice at Town Hall, Pound Ridge Police Chief David Ryan says any cooperation he had with NYSIC during last year's storm has vanished. In my 30 years of law enforcement, all in the NYSIC communities, um, their worst response I've ever seen. It's just from pre-planning to post-event recovery. They have not been in town. That same frustration could be heard in Lewisboro, where State Senator Greg Ball was handing out dry ice to homeowners there. It's a bad version of Groundhog Day because all the things that they got wrong before, they're getting wrong. Again, the work crews are working hard, but at the highest levels, there's mismanagement. Lewisboro Deputy Town Supervisor Peter DeLucia says his frustration is welling up for the same reason. He says all he needs is one nice crew to follow his DPW crews, and so far that's not happened. My guys are ready, willing, and able to go out and start clearing the local roads that have trees down that are entangled in wires. But they can't touch those trees until NYSIG certifies that those wires are safe for our guys to do that. Hurricane Sandy has done her worst. And now people in northern Westchester are concerned NYSIG won't be there to pick up the pieces. We're in Pound Ridge. Robert Wolf, News 12. Well, in response today, NYSIG told News 12 they have to assess the damage before they put together any kind of restoration plan. They admitted they don't know when the power will be restored in northern Westchester, and they do admit it could be a long wait for some of their customers.